Living on a ball of rock, which floats through an infinite amount of space, brings with it certain risks. As we know, the Earth has been visited by at least one life-ending asteroid in the past, but it turns out there is another crater of a similar age as the one synonymous with the dinosaurs. Today, we are discussing a recently discovered ocean bed crater, as well as three other large impact craters on Earth. Stay tuned, let's jump straight in then. What do we know about this relative asteroid? The majority of the ocean floor lies famously unexplored. For a civilization which puts a large amount of emphasis on discovering what is going on in space, it's kind of egregious that our own ocean floors have never truly been studied at great length. However, a team of scientists recently mapped out an area off the coast of northwest Africa and made quite a surprising discovery. Looking at the area next to the Nadir Seamount, an underwater volcano, scientists unearthed what they believe is a crater caused by an asteroid, which they have named Nadir after the nearby volcano. And in another shocking twist, it turns out that the crater is actually the same age as the Chicxulub impact, which of course is the asteroid which wiped out the dinosaurs 66 million years ago. This has prompted scientists to question whether or not the two are actually related, and if they peppered Earth as part of some sort of apocalyptic asteroid shower. Of course, they could have easily hit Earth thousands of years apart, and they would still be thought of as the same age. So much more research is needed. Of course, marine asteroid impacts are rarely studied, so studying this one further will give scientists a much better idea of what actually happens during such events. The crater was discovered while studying tectonic separation from back when South America departed its African homeland. Give us your thoughts on this incredible news below. So what else do we know? Let's see. The team discovered the Nadir crater using a technique known as seismic reflection. Seismic reflection is a method of exploring the Earth's crust using artificially generated waves. It works in a similar way to ultrasound, sending pressure waves through the ocean, detailing the energy which is reflected back. This allows scientists to get a clearer picture of the makeup of the crater. The crater itself is just over six miles wide, a similar size to the one made by the asteroid, which killed off the dinosaurs, now buried several hundred meters below the ocean floor. If these two asteroids hit the Earth simultaneously, it's a miracle any life at all survived. Many features around the crater are consistent with an asteroid impact, and explanations such as a collapsed volcano or gaseous explosion beneath the seabed have since been ruled out. Scientists used a computer model to figure out the conditions of such an impact and suggested that if you were alive then, you would have been faced with an 800 meter high wall of water, but not before seeing a huge fireball, which would have been visible from hundreds of miles away. The asteroid would have mimicked an earthquake of around 7 on the Richter scale, which would have triggered underwater landslides and massive tsunamis. It would also have brought with it an air blast so loud that no human would be able to comprehend, and an energy release, which would have been around 1,000 times stronger than last year's underwater Honga Tonga eruption. Incredible! So was it related to Chicxulub or not? As we know, the two asteroids impacted Earth around the same time, which means there could be as much as 1 million years between them. In our modern terms, that is not related whatsoever. One theory is that the two asteroids came from a parent asteroid, with Chicxulub resulting in the bigger event and Nadir acting as the little sister. Scientists have theorized that the two asteroids could have been formed as the comet came close to Earth, and gravitational forces resulted in it being pulled apart. This exact thing was witnessed with the Shoemaker-Levy 9 comet, which collided with Jupiter back in 1994. Another idea is the little cousin theory, which suggests Nadir was formed as a part of an impact cluster. This suggests a collision in the asteroid belt, which may have sent a shower of asteroids into the inner solar system, which may have then collided with Earth over an extended period. The last theory suggests that it is simply a coincidence. Scientists know that an asteroid around the size of Nadir hits Earth every 700,000 years or so, which would mean that the time period in question could have easily seen two of these impacts. More research and scientific testing is needed before a definitive answer is given, which could be sooner than we think, as the team involved have recently submitted a proposal to drill the crater. We're discussing the three largest craters on Earth next, starting with the Sudbury Basin. Ontario, Canada is home to the third largest crater on Earth, and similar to the Vredefor Crater, which we will shortly be discussing. This one is pretty old, at 1.8 billion years. At about 80 miles wide, it has been suggested that the crater might not actually have been made by an asteroid, but a giant comet, or a mix of rock and ice. Whatever made it, it was big, and similar to the other two, at between 6 and 9 miles wide. Unfortunately, given its age, there isn't much evidence left, but if we look at the mining industries which have sprung up around the area today, we can tell that the asteroid was actually made up of part iron, part nickel, amongst other materials. Most craters on Earth are actually more than 10 million years old, with just the one which hit Tajikistan 5 million years ago the exception. Scientists believe asteroid impacts were far more common in the early days of the solar system, due to the fact that there were larger pieces of debris 
and rock flying about, which makes sense, really. They have also claimed there are probably more on Earth that we don't even know about because they were simply so long ago. We're glad we weren't around in those early days for sure. Have you guys ever seen an asteroid crater? That Chicxulub crater is coming through next. Probably the most famous asteroid event of all time. An asteroid the size of a city came burning through the skies 40 times the speed of sound before crashing into the Yucatan Peninsula. The crater is really impressive because its peak ring is still intact. Its long-term preservation is very impressive. Resulted in the Chicxulub crater, located in the Yucatan Peninsula on Mexico's Gulf of Mexico coast. However, this one is nowhere near as old as the Sudbury Basin crater, a mere baby at just 66 million years old. But this one had much more dire consequences, however, as biology here on Earth had moved on substantially since the Ontario event. The Chicxulub crater is slightly larger than its cousin in Ontario at about 112 miles thought to have been caused by an asteroid about 7.5 miles in diameter. At the same time, the asteroid hit an area of Earth, which was under shallow water. But these days, the crater is partially visible, just north of Merida. Incredibly, the disastrous event brought with it the extinction of around 75% of life on Earth, including most of the dinosaur population. The event was so destructive that when it happened, tons of rock and debris were launched into the atmosphere, lighting the planet on fire when it made its descent back to Earth. And just like any big asteroid, the Chicxulub impact would have resulted in a dust cloud, which lingered for so long, it would have had a lasting impact on the global food chain. Any large animal which did manage to miraculously survive the initial impact would likely have starved to death a short time later. Terrifying! Give us your emergency asteroid impact plan below! And finally, it's the Redifor Crater. Incredibly, one of the largest craters ever discovered on Earth is a humongous 99 miles wide and can be found in South Africa. In all likelihood, the crater is about 2 billion years old. If NASA's Earth Observatory is to be believed. Of course, a crater this old poses several problems, not least the fact that a lot of it has now eroded, meaning a lot of evidence of its genesis has been naturally eroded with it. From what the brainiacs who have studied it can gather, the almost 100 mile wide crater was between 6 and 9 miles wide, which is almost certainly bigger than the one which wiped out the dinosaurs. Most scientists will tell you that any object bigger than about 1 kilometer in diameter will have serious effects on the global population. So the one which crashed into Earth around 150 kilometers southwest of modern day Pretoria would have had catastrophic consequences for anything which happened to be alive on the planet at that time. It is thought that the event would have triggered fires all around the world, as well as the obvious dust cloud, which would have been thrown up, resulting in a years-long nuclear winter. Sounds pretty horrific. Have any of you guys been to South Africa to check out the Redifor Crater? As always, thanks for joining us today, and remember to like and share today's video with any science heads you might know of. And don't forget to tune in again next time, when we will be discussing loads more cool bits and pieces. Oh, and don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Bye guys!